So now we're going to get back into arrays. So briefly we had looked at arrays in one of the earlier lessons and we had just kind of looked at arrays similar to how we could declare these different data types where we had strings, we had uh, numeric values, we had boolean values, and we were able to uh, to split up the actual string similar to what we do with an array. So in arrays, again, um, you can use different types of values in here. So for this array, I'm just going to rename this to my array uh, so that I'm not calling it just array, calling it uh, my array. And then we're going to call through to these different values that are here. Uh, so these values, they can be anything. They can be numeric values. Uh, and again, you don't need quotes around your numeric values. Uh, so they can be set as numeric values. They can be set as string values and so on. So you could also do a Boolean value if you wanted to. Oftentimes you're not really going to be calling to that. Uh, and the thing to remember about arrays, uh, so you have the ability to set different values within the array. So I can go into the array and I can um, set different elements in the array as well as access different elements within the array, much like what we were doing with the strings. And um, yeah, and as the thing to remember with arrays is that you have the ability to add to the array, but these are all going to be set at certain points within the array. So in order to access some information from the array, all you would do is call over to that, uh, that particular item within the array. It's going to tidy this up a little bit. And again, uh, don't forget to tidy up your code as you're going along and this is going to make it a little bit more accessible and readable. And within the next lesson we're going to get it, be getting into more detail how to work with arrays and how to access the different elements in the array itself. But this was just to show you how to declare and set up that initial array.